Sometimes a hot dude on Grindr texts us on a day when we just don't have access to any of our douching supplies and we freak out because we want to like see him but we don't want to be dirty. You know what I mean? If you're gay or you're a human, you are probably familiar with what these are. These are enema bulbs and these are the things that like gay people or like humans in general use to clean their butts. You would normally get an enema bulb at an adult store or my website for the really good ones, Premium Douche Kits, fully discreet, shipped right to your doorstep, links below. But sometimes we need the goods on the spot. Like sometimes it's 5 p.m. and he texts you and expects you to be at his place by 6 p.m. And sometimes we just don't have access to enema bulbs or like a store or like online websites that can deliver in one hour. So what do we do in these desperate times, you may ask? Fear no more because Kevin is here to show you in this this video how to anal douche without an enema bulb. Before I get started, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And please check out my full bottoming course at the links below. I do have a full douching tutorial on there. And of course, my premium douche kits, fully discreet, shipped right to your doorstep at the links below as well. Get one of these so you don't have to watch videos like this. All right, so if you don't have access to an enema bulb but you want to be clean for a man, the first thing you're doing is going to a local convenience store. You are going to grab one of two items. You can either grab a plastic water bottle or this box that says Fleet Saline Enema on it. Let's first start with the water bottle. Yes, you are going to be douching with this water bottle. I promise you it works. Don't be scared. We've all been there before. I personally had to do this at the freaking gym and it was a vibe. Like I had to poop on the shower hole. It's fine. So with the water bottle, the first thing you are going to do is poop. First and foremost, that's just an important step to do before any douching routine. Just go to the bathroom and poop. We are going to clean out the natural way first, which is by pooping. You are then going to fill up the water bottle with lukewarm water all the way to the rim. You know how like when you get a water bottle, it's always like freaking like here and it's not like fully, fully filled. You are going to change that. This is actually a very important step because with a water bottle, you don't have like a straw or like a tip to put in your butt. You just have this rim. So it helps a lot if the water was all the way up here. It's like less squeezing for you and just less of a hassle, just fill this up all the way with lukewarm water. Not too hot and not too cold. You don't want to burn your butt or give it a brain freeze, but like in your butt, you know what I mean? Once this is filled up all the way, you are going to press the rim right here firmly and tightly against and around your butthole. This is really important because if you don't press this rim, every part of this rim against and around your butthole, water is going to leak when you squeeze the bottle. You want all of the water being squeezed to go into your butt, not leaking down your thighs. So spread your butt cheeks and press this firmly against your butthole. Once this rim is pressed firmly against your hole with no like air gaps, you are going to squeeze the bottle while unclenching your hole at the same time. It is really important to unclench your butthole when the water is going in because if you leave your butthole clenched, it's going to act like a wall and water will not just nothing's gonna go in if your butthole is clenched and closed. So unclench your butthole, the easiest way to do that is by telling your mind that you are pooping onto this water bottle. Don't worry, you won't actually poop because you pooped earlier, remember? So unclench your hole and squeeze the bottle to put the water in. With a 500 milliliter water bottle, you don't wanna go past like half the bottle. That's kind of like the max for the amount of water to put in. Any more than half, you will be triggering poops in your colon area because the water will like travel further past your rectum and you don't need to clean anywhere past your rectum. If you trigger those poops in those areas, you will be stuck cleaning out for hours and hours on end. So don't go past half the bottle. After you are done putting the water in, leave the water in for about 30 seconds to a minute, poop it out, and then repeat four to five times. And then obviously throw away the water bottle. You don't wanna drink out of this bottle after you just 
douched with it, so maybe throw it away. Maybe give it like a little sniff first for fun. All right, now let's talk about the Fleet Saline Enema. So this is basically a laxative that you can get at any local convenience store. They have this in the section where it's like digestive system vibes, like stomach pain and things like that, because it is a laxative. These are only two bucks, so I'm pretty sure you can afford this unless you're like super poor, but it's literally $2. Like you can find that like on the ground, you know? So what you do with the Fleet is once you open up this box, you get this little container. Like I said, this is a laxative and you don't wanna put laxatives in your body unless you need to, unless you are constipated, unless your doctor tells you you need a laxative. So the first thing you are going to do is actually to open this up and empty out the contents in this container. You don't want a drop of this in your butt. I mistakenly did this once when I didn't need a laxative and I actually ended up sharding for a long time and it hurt and it didn't feel good and I didn't, didn't do the deed that night. So let's not do that. So empty this out, rinse and wash it with soap and then refill this with lukewarm water. Again, fill it up all the way. You don't wanna squirt any air into your butt. That's what happens when you don't fill things up all the way. Yeah, just fill it up all the way. After that, you can carry on with your normal douching routine. Just take off this orange thing here and then lube up the tip with your favorite water-based lube. Put it in your butt, squeeze while simultaneously unclenching your butthole. Squirt the water in, don't put too much water in. Just go, you know, don't go past half this container either. Leave the water in your butt for 30 seconds to a minute, poop it out and repeat four to five times. More simple than you think, right? So don't freak out if you don't have your enema bulb with you and you are like stranded in the middle of nowhere and some dude is like, hey, like come over. Don't freak out because you got a water bottle and you always got fleet saline enema. Okay guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or if you wanna just say hi or if you have any video recommendations for me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you don't want to be in a position where you have to douche with a water bottle or a fleet saline enema, don't forget that I do have premium douche kits at the links below. This is my best seller and it's like fully discreet and shipped right to your doorstep. They come with this really good enema bulb that like pulls water from the bottom of the bulb so you don't have to worry about like air farts or like squeezing air into your butt. They also come with lube, water-based, and like a whole letter by me, personalized, an instruction guide, and just the best things that you need. <laughs> don't forget also, last thing I promise, um, to check out my full bottoming course at the links below. I do have a full douching tutorial on there and I do have upcoming surprises for you this summer in regards to the bottoming course. So check out the links below for everything. Support your boy, keep me employed. Thank you guys so much, I love you and I will talk to you soon.